you have learnt about the graphical and algebraic methods of solving a pair of linear equations in two variables. Given a pair of linear equations, you can easily identify the type of solution using the table provided here. The graphical and algebraic methods can be used only when the equations are in linear form. But what if the equations are not in linear form? Can we still use these methods to solve them? Let's find out. Non-linear equations can be written as linear equations by making certain substitutions. After reducing non-linear equations to linear equations, we can use the graphical and algebraic methods to solve them. Let's have a look at a few examples. These will help you understand the concept. Look at this pair of equations. These are not in the linear form. Here the variables are present in the denominator. In these equations, let's substitute 1 upon x with p and 1 upon y with q and see what happens. After making the substitutions, we see that both equations are converted to linear equations. Now we can solve the pair of equations using any of the algebraic methods. After we find the values of P and Q, we can also calculate the values of X and Y. Let's look at another example. In this pair of equations, the denominators are made up of expressions that contain variables. Let's look at the steps to reduce non-linear equations to linear equations and then solve them. The first step is to use substitution to convert non-linear equations to linear equations. Here we have substituted 1 upon x plus 2 with a and 1 upon y minus 2 with b. Now we have both equations as a pair of linear equations in two variables. The next step is to solve the equations using any of the algebraic methods. Here we have used the method of elimination to solve the pair of equations, arriving at a result that a is equal to 5 and b is equal to minus 7. The actual calculations have not been shown here. Now that we have obtained the values of a and b, we can calculate the values of x and y by resubstitution. We have obtained the solution to the pair of nonlinear equations by substitution and resubstitution. You can convert a pair of nonlinear equations in two variables to linear equations by following these three steps. Step 1 Reduce the nonlinear equation to linear equation by using substitution. Step 2. Solve the equations by using any of the algebraic methods. Step 3. Obtain the solution by resubstitution. You have just seen how to use substitution and resubstitution to find the solution to nonlinear equations. Now you can solve not only pairs of linear equations in two variables, but also pairs of nonlinear equations.